Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get my cousin, my daughter cousin. He up here, the big boy. You know what I'm saying? I just seen him. Dollars and my daughter, cousin, you know what I'm saying? We just, I'm just messing with it right now, but leave that right now. Yeah, right now. They might have to leave. They might have to leave. They might have to leave them out. So I'm going to let them know. Until they get the money. Get the money. Get the money. I think he opened it right now. Paul, you go brick. Yeah, somebody took it. Boy, Emily's emotion, no paper, no pen inside everyday life. And my cousin right here, he chilling, getting ready to get a haircut at Big Boy. You know what I'm saying? We doing it like that. He already a star anyway. Yes, sir. What's up, man? We'll holler at you later. But I, all I know about Jacob, <laughs> and one of the major prophets called Jacob a treacherous dealer. Oh, yeah? There's a story in the Bible that I don't even want to tell right now. Because... Okay. Because I'm recording you. <laughs> right. Yeah, they don't need to know everything anyway. They have to read, go in there and read it for themselves. I, I go to King James yesterday. Oh, right. Yeah. The okay. Psalms are in there. Well, tell me a little bit about your story, man. Tell me well, about... my mother was very child abusive. And I... I started running away from home while I was still in elementary school. Mm -hmm. And then when I was 17 years old, I ran away to California and stayed there about 10 years. Right. Now that's where the cop nailed me in the solar plexus with his mag light. Oh, when you was in California? Yeah. You know, the cops in New York are bad too, in LA. You know, there's a Rodney King story and that. Mostly, the cops around here have been halfway decent to me. They even picked me up one night and put me in a motel room. Wow. But I got 10 days in Falkenberg for disorderly intoxication. You was drinking? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. And 10 days is a hard hit. Yeah, we gotta stop that drinking though, man. How long you been drinking? About 12 years. 12 years yes. so how did it come that you was um like in the situation homeless like this I okay I started run, running away from home at an early age mm -hmm. and it just went on and on and on so you've been living on the streets yeah for a so long ever time. since you was ever since you was what how old 17 17 see when in elementary school I used to run away and sleep under a friend's bed or something but oh. I've been homeless for the most part since 1982. Okay. How old were you then? 17. Oh, wow. Since when? 1982. 82. 82. I was born in 65. 82, I think I was 12. You were born in where? 1965. Okay, so yeah, I was 12 and you were 17. Okay. okay. You look young. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm 43. I used to look young before I started drinking. Yeah, we gotta stop drinking. Get your bite. Get your bite young, man. Hey, look, you remind me like a uh, a uh, 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 clampet. The clampets on on Beverly Hillbillies. Oh. Well, it's a new day and a new start, man. You ready to go holler at my homeboy from Zone Productions? Y'all already know. You better know. MB promotion, no paper, no pen. It's our everyday life, man. Like, I don't want to know. Yeah. Man, look, this the man right here making all the noise around here. Zone Productions, man. What's happening, man? What's going on, man? man Welcome to our hair salon. One of my star stylists right here. Check out. Give a little energy. Give a little bit. Tell them what it is, mama. 
My name's Star Banks, the hair designer. You guys come on down and check us out. We are, I'm a weaveologist, a hair <laughs> technician, a cutting specialist. Come on in and check us out. We here seven days a week for your convenience. What's up, mama? You do musical sign too? I don't do music, but if you want me to, I, I can. Uh, that was up to my God, people standing up in the paint. Yes. Man, put the dog on devil on the ground and step on his neck, man. We ain't even playing with it. Do it, do it. That, that, that what I'm talking about. Stamp the devil out. We ain't even playing, man. We going for everything we know. 2013, 2014, we showing up, showing up and showing out just like God gonna do, man. Man, that's what I'm talking about, man. My people that don't come together, man. That's what I'm talking about. Black unity, black love. That's what I'm talking about, man. Unity and love, man. Hey, I ain't no hater, bruss. You know what I'm saying? I show love when, when I see somebody doing something, man. And I see, see them that. doing something wrong, I try to direct them in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? We just moved downstairs, you know what I'm saying? I got a church downstairs. Well, not my church, but uh -huh. Pastor Henry, we just moved downstairs. Okay. So, you know, we just they trying love. to, we trying to give, down give down to, to, you know. Tell you ladies in the congregation, I give them 10% off. There, ladies, I will give you 10% off your first time visit with me, and I guarantee you will love it. Wow. Y'all heard of it. So, man, that's what we're doing, man. Tell them where y'all located at, too, mama. Since you the star. Since you the star. Tell them where we're we at. We're located at 7659 North 56th Street. And what's the name of the salon? Premier Hair and Portrait Studio. That's what I'm talking about. See, this Come in and check us out. Check me out. I and, got uh, this way. And the thing about it, y'all, I just popped in on them. This, that was no paper, no pen do, man. We don't, we don't write no scripts. We don't do nothing. Yeah. It's off the top of the head, and that's how we doing it, man. So, showing love to the people, man. This your boy, MB Promotion. No paper, no pen. It's our everyday life, I promise. The hillbillies? Oh, yeah. You remind me of Jed. <laughs> Jed? <laughs> <laughs> Jed, you remember that? Oh, yeah, I, I know the song, man. Let me hear it. Going to tell you a story about a man named Jed. Poor mountaineer barely kept the family fed. One day, one day, he was shooting up the food, and up from the ground came a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold, <laughs> Texas tea. Texas tea! Yes, I Kid mean... folks said, Daddy, move away from there. <laughs> Go ahead, finish up, man. I'm enjoying this. How was it? You know, California is a place you gotta be, so they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is. <laughs> Swimming pool. Movie star. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody told me that the original Ronald McDonald was the guy that played Jethro. What? Yeah. It sounded immediately convincing. I mean, behind all that makeup and that wig, it, it, it sounded like it was true. Damn, Jethro's Ronald damn McDonald himself. <laughs> wow. They, they came up with Ronald, I think, shortly after they filmed most of those better Beverly Hillbillies episodes. Oh. See, McDonald's used to have blue and white colors. Uh-huh. And then they had a man running with a hamburger. It had, it had say, like, a million sold. Huh? Now it's, like, billions and billions sold. A billion souls. No, oh, they're all over the world. A billion souls, huh? Sold. Oh, sold. A billion. Wow, yeah. a billion of what? Hamburgers? Well, they, they've sold, now it says billions, plural sold. Mm. But I, I'm old enough to remember when McDonald's was pretty young. Yeah, when you say it, it sounds like you're saying souls, like a billion souls, like, you know, but, you know, it kind of, like, bring me to, like, spirituality, like. Well, you know, John looked and he saw under the altar more souls than any man could number. John did. Mm. John the Baptist. No, he, he, John the Evangelist, they call him. Oh, or they yeah? call him John the Divine. Oh, yeah? He's the one that wrote the Gospel according to John and the Book of Revelation. Oh. And the, the Epistle of St. John. Uh-huh. So, he wrote it. I thought, I thought um, um, John the Baptist wrote that. Oh, no. No, John didn't write anything. John didn't write anything? No, he's, he's a very profound man. To me, he's like one of my favorite Bible heroes. Okay. His hair was probably in dreadlocks. Dreadlocks? Huh? Huh?
Excuse me, excuse me now. 